Hello, this is part two of my video about racism and and being free. And I, I mentioned how you've been brainwashed. Even in the church, you've been brainwashed. And I'm going to do some little fundamental thinking where, where you can get your thinking organized. Because they screwed you all in the church. Number one, they screwed you on, on sinners. You can never stop being a sinner. So all this come to Jesus so he can wash all your sins away. You will never stop being a sinner. That's, that's one thing. So you spend a whole life of turmoil trying to figure out how can I do right? How can I do this? How can I do that? And you will never be able to do it. Because you have to understand what God created. And you will never understand what God created if it's not being taught. So, so I'm going to help you as for it. There's no such thing as taking you away from your sins. God created two types of sinners. He created the righteous sinner and the non-righteous sinner. And there's a reason why it's called righteous sinner and non-righteous sinner. That, that, that's what you have to understand So if you're in church And you constantly going to church Saying oh I need to stop sinning I need to stop sinning But yet you're sinning Or oh, I need to clean up my act Because I'm sinning And then you and then you never see that change Because you have to understand What God created God created you To only be able to achieve Being a righteous sinner You're not going to be able to achieve No, no more than a righteous sinner once you understand that's all you will be able to achieve, then everything else falls in place. You, you no longer run about your struggles. Because it's not about your struggles. It's what type of person that is having a struggle. That's the question. And you have to understand this is what God deals with. And, and, and unfortunately, they tell you the truth, but they tell you in so many different ways that that um, it's hard for you to understand it because it, it it's really like it say go, it say one thing and say another thing, but you have, but you have to understand God created two types of people. You have your righteous sinners and your non righteous sinner. Everybody going to sin, but the question is, who is doing the sin? Are you a righteous sinner? Or are you a non righteous sinner? The only the only way you can um. Be a righteous sinner. Number one, you have to you have to follow y'all. If you don't follow y'all, then you are non righteous sinner. Bottom line. Then you have to understand Yahshua and Yahshua. You have to understand because because, because it's easy. You could call on American Bibles names and everything, but what you, what you have to understand, God has a name. Just like you don't want nobody calling you out your name. Just like you don't want nobody calling you somebody else's name. You have to understand. God want that same respect that you want. And if you don't take the time to find out. Then how much do you really love God is the question. How much do you really care is the question. Because th this is what it bow down to. You have enough time to chase a man. You have enough time to chase females. You have enough time to get high. You have enough time to get drunk. But you don't have enough time to find out about the person you say you love that created you. It just it's just strange to me. So so you have to understand it's the thinking. Because what you have to understand, the, the government understand the power of thoughts. And you have to understand that. Your thoughts control your emotions and how you feel. But if, if you could grasp hold of what I'm saying, half of your battles is over. Half of your battles is over. Because now you understand God only created two types of people. A righteous sinner and a non-righteous sinner. That's it. He didn't create nothing in between. And some things he haven't created. But 
again, we got to take a step by step because this is a thinking process and your mind has to get right because your mind is not right. You can't you constantly worry about things and then you worry about it so much you say, you know, I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I fuck that. I the fuck. So so you have to understand, you got to get your thinking right. So you can get that don't give a fuck attitude because that's why they're killing you because you don't give a fuck. You got to understand, you don't give a fuck, that's what you're going to get in return, not giving a fuck. Because not giving a fuck, what got this, get, got this situation going on. So you have to change all, all that thinking of not giving a fuck because you think you can't accomplish something that 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 is a country uh, that you can accomplish. So so first of all, you got to stretch these things out. You 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 only could be a righteous sinner. You you're not going to be what they want you to be in church. It's not happening. That's the case. You've been going to church all your life and you still sinning. Why? You been your grandma been going to church. Why? So so it's not about you sinning. It's about are you a righteous sinner or a non-righteous sinner. So you can beat yourself in the head all day and you still got a rule to live in. You can't be running about mistakes you made five years ago, ten years. You can't be running about that stuff because you still have kids to raise. You have a family to take care of. So you can't be letting little things like that hold you back. So, so you have to understand, you have to speed up your thinking. And you have to build up some backbone. Because cause, cause if you're a single parent, or you married, you have other people depending on you. So other people depending on you, you can't be twisted in your head. Oh, I sinned. Oh, I sinned. Oh, Lord, please forgive me. Oh, God, please forgive me. Listen, you are a, either you're a righteous sinner, or you're a non-righteous sinner. That, that, that's just, that is the playing field. It's no more. It's no more of uh, whatever they're telling you in church. Either you're a righteous sinner or you're a non-righteous sinner. A righteous sinner is a, is a sinner that tries to do the right thing by God. That's all you can do. You can do the right thing by God. You can live your best according to what you are and how you feel according to what God going to excuse and not excuse. I can't determine what God excuses and don't. Only God can determine that. That's, that's between you and God. But you are a righteous sinner. Or you are a non-righteous sinner. That's, that, that, them things you have to understand. That. So you have to get that thought in your mind. Okay, I love God. I'm serving God. So I'm a righteous sinner. You gotta stop. You gotta stop arguing with yourself about being human. That that that's just the bottom line. You gotta stop arguing with yourself about being human because you you arguing and and, and, and you trying to create something or make something when you only human. So you got to stop that. Because you have a bigger battle to fight. You have a bigger battle to fight. You, you got other things to worry about. So, 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 I mean, that just, so, so you, it's certain things you have to be able to nip in the bud. Because if you're trying to be perfect or trying to live the perfection, you get irritated, you get irritated, irritated about it. And you get aggravated because you're not doing it. And the first thing you know what? You just give up and say, I don't give a fuck. And guess who wins? The devil. Because the devil told you, hey, try to be perfect. Hey, try to be perfection. Hey, try. When God telling you, you only can be a righteous sinner. This is what your father is telling you. This is what y'all is telling you. You can't be no more until I come back. You know, you, you have a child that's being fast and growing. You tell him, you know what? You need to grow. You need to wait to grow up. You need to wait till you be. That's the same thing a lot of Christ, so-called Christians. Because I, 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 I don't even consider myself a Christian. 
But these Christians, this is why they have a battle, because they're trying to be grown. And God simply is already telling you, this is who you are, this is what you're going to be, and until I change that. That's so you gotta get this right. You got to get this right. And then once you get them thoughts right, you become more confident in yourself. And then you're not living with doubt. Because when you live with doubt, you confuse. And, 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 and you got the white people people killing. You got, you got the black people dying. You got the kids getting shot. You got these drive-bys going on. And you, and you confuse. It ain't, this is not the time to be confused. This is not the time for you to try to figure it out. This is the time for you to know. And this is what you're not going to get in church. This is what you're not going to get. Get out. So you have to get your mind right and you have to be certain. Why do you think, why do you think other races are so much focused than the black race? Because the black race lacks understanding. Lacks knowledge. Because what? We're going to run to the Queen King James. But you got to understand what the Queen James was created to bring everybody under one religion in accordance to control you. That's what that's what it's all about. You, you can look all the way down from your preachers. You can talk about you can talk about the uh, Catholic, how they sleep with little boys, but black preachers are, is no better. They sleeping with boys too. That's why they gay. They they probably been raped when they were little, but they don't. But but because they they looking at King James, they can't even gain their manhood. And you can't look to King James when you trying to take back what was stolen from you, because King James don't teach you to do that. That's why these boys they they get raped. And they figure they gotta be gay. You don't have to be gay because you been raped. You don't have to be a punk because you been raped. That's a mindset. You don't have to be that. That's the, that's the thinking because your lack of knowledge, your lack of study, and your lack of understanding. So, so you seduce yourself to that. Why? Because a white man put it out there that, oh, if you were molested by another man, you that means you gay. You don't have to be none of these things. You, you can choose not to be. You can choose not to be. And if you choose to be, hey, that's your choice. That, that's the freedom you have. But don't blame it on oh, my manhood was took. Understand, anything that was took, you can always take it back. <laughs> And that's something you will never understand in church. That's something they'll never teach you is how to gain what you lost. Some of you female, y'all been molested. Y'all can't even hold a decent relationship because you letting something that uncle, the next door neighbor, your brother, or your or your auntie did to you hold you from, from moving on to the next level. Some of y'all been in bad relationship, got your ass kicked. You can't even move on because now you think every man going to kick your ass. That, you got to control this. It's all this. And that's why you can't move to the next level. And the sad thing about it, you you all go through these traumatic, these, these traumatic situations. Then you want to drink, you want to get high, you want to... You want to do coke. You want to. All that does is increases your thought process and what you already feel. So how 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 is that going to get your mind right? You just made your mind worse. So you got to understand what you're doing because because it can make things worse. When I drink, I'm happy. Some people drink, they get mad, they start crying, they start tripping, they start they start talking about this and that because the mind is confused. So you you got to get your mind right. 
You gotta get your mind right. You have to get your mind right. You have to get it right. You can't be confused and you raising kids. You can't be stuck in the past and you raising kids. How your child gonna go to the next level? Well, what you just want? You want your child to be labeled as as AD, ADH? What get a five hundred dollar check a month? You can't even live off that. Some of y'all get five hundred dollars in food stamp and still got the prostitute to make the ends meet. So why you want to? Why you want to want your child to get something like that when they can go ahead and get a real job, a, a real skill, or learn something to get more? So, so you gotta wake up. You gotta start letting these letting letting the system trick you. Sometimes you gotta challenge the system in order to save your child. Sometimes you got to. You don't want to. Who want to? Nobody want to. But you gotta think about the future. So sometimes you have to challenge. Because 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 one hundred fifty dollars in food stamp. Six hundred dollars every month. That's not enough for nobody to live on. That's not enough for nobody to live on. And that's not helping your child, cause you got to think about that child gonna get older, and all they got to get older off of five hundred dollars to live off of. So, so, so you you got to think about that child as it get older, as it becomes in womanhood and manshood. So you so 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 you can't be thinking about right now. You have to get your mind right. You have to get your mind right. You have to get your mind right. Because black people are so easily tricked. So easily tricked. And then, and then, black people hate to go against the grain. Sometimes you got to go against the grain. If everybody's saying they're right, and you follow, you find out they're wrong. Then who, who, who fuck is that? That you follow the crowd. Sometimes you got to go through life being laughed at, being picked at, being joked about. Oh, oh, he believed it. Hey, hey, hey. Let him hey, hey, hey. Cause it's not about the hey, hey, hey. It's about the level you trying to get to. That's what it's about. It's not a. It's not a competition about. Popularity, who likes me, who want to be my friend, nobody want to talk to me. Man, please. You should be happy nobody want to talk to you. That's less problems. Because drama comes with friends. You should be happy. Less drama and more time to focus. So be happy. Be happy. Because while they laugh and they party, you study trying to get from point A to point B, from B to C, from C to D, from D. And before you know it, they're going to look at you like, how you did that? And it'd be the same one that laughed at you. It'd be the same one that picked at you. It'd be the same one that, how you did that? Oh, look how great you were. Get focused. It's all up here. It's all up here. These people beating you with the brain. They ain't beating you with a fist. They ain't beating you. They beating you with this. So, so you gotta open your mind up. You gotta open your mind up. It, 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 it's so much you all done missed out on. It's so much you all don't know. It, it, it's so much that if you know, you won't even believe it. Because you've been tricked to believe something for so many years since you was five years old, since you were two years old, since you were three years old, now you what, 25, 30, 40. That, that's a lot to try to change. So, 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 so you got to get your mind right. You got to throw away with all that sin and this and that. You got to throw that all that away. Just throw it out your mind. Either you're going to be a righteous sinner or... Or a non-righteous sinner. And that's all you can be to please God. I'm sorry. That's all you can be. I don't care what your pastor say. You gave him you gave him all this offering, all this you pray, all that you pray, and I'm gonna just give you the answer plain and simple. You only can be a righteous sinner and a non-righteous sinner. Those are the only two categories. It's a third one, but I ain't going into that one. Not yet. Until you get you got to get this mind right. This mind is everything. 
The mind is everything. You take the mind, you take the body, you take the mind, you take your hope, you take your spirit, and you and take your happiness. And that's what God created you to be happy, to be joyful, to smile. You think God created you to be so upset? He didn't create you for that. You think you think he spent this time to create you so you would be worried about who you had sex with? Who you kiss? You think he spent all the time to create you just for you to worry about that? Come on. Get your mind right. Think on this a little bit and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.